Three practical tips that I want to share with you that I personally use to build up my self-confidence. You follow these tips every day and I promise you, you will overcome the attitude of not seeing yourself good enough. Number one, put together in your mind a mental picture of yourself as holy, righteous, and in equality with Jesus. Hold this picture in your mind. Never permit it to ever go away. Your imagination will try to develop a mental idea, a concept that will try to think totally opposite. Never let yourself ever think of failure. Never think of doubt. The reality of your mental imagination of being faithful in Christ is super important. We have to take on the mindset of Jesus. What can turn a mindset to become dangerous is if we allow our minds to create another thought outside of Jesus. Why? Because the mind will try to complete and walk out what it is that it imagines. So always picture victory. Always picture the promises of God, no matter how badly the situation is that you're going through at this moment. This is what self-control looks like. It's simply controlling our thought life. Number two, whenever a negative thought occurs in your mind and comes against your creative value, immediately voice the positive realities of that by canceling out that thought and speaking the truth of God over your life. It is Jesus perspective that comes by hearing in your brain. Listen to your senses. Jesus is your senses. So we are training our natural brain and senses to have the understanding of the spirit of faith who is Christ when he speaks through your ears, your senses, into your brain, your memory bank that processes and aligns your brain to the oneness of your conscious mind in the spirit of Christ Jesus. Now, number three. Don't get caught up in imaginational arguments. This is one that creates a dualistic, double-minded obstacle that will create imaginational walls in your life or so-called arguments and difficulties must naturally be walked out in the supernatural of realities of God and aligned together in Jesus. One big bonus tip I want to give you is don't rebuke your thoughts. This can be dramatically dangerous to your growth and will cause you to damage the mind from thinking like Christ and keeping yourself positive in Christ Jesus. You gotta train your logical brain, your natural senses to see itself from its creative value and never allow your mindset or imagination to be inflated with fear 10 times every day. I want you to repeat these. These are kingdom words. If God be for me, who can ever be against me? I am a saint. I am faithful. I do all things in Christ. Now stop for just a moment right now and repeat this right now slowly and confidently. God created us to walk with heaven flowing through us constantly. We are to be so heavenly minded that we are earthly incredible. This is sonship. When we rest in the love of God and believe the truth of what God says about us, we can live our everyday life just like Jesus would. Redemption righteousness and the newness of mind are the foundation and the key to the new covenant reality. The Holy Spirit wants to flow through every believer everywhere we go, at work, school, grocery store, malls, gas stations, everywhere. Polly B's true joy is being able to reproduce God's reality in people into this new simplicity of this new creation reality of Jesus Christ, training others to walk it out 24-7 as a lifestyle of sonship. Yes, this is for every believer. To learn more about Polly and the Ministry of Sonship Lifestyle, www.sonshiplifestyle.com.